As football season kicks off this evening, we get a chance to sit back and admire the beauty of it, the pageantry, the prestige, and maybe more than anyone else, the rivalries. Tonight, it's the end of one of the fiercest in the tri-state. After this year, Glen Estee and Amelia will no longer be bitter rivals. They will be teammates. And as Brad Underwood shows us, emotions are running high for the final bell game. They played as rivals for the final time, and the outcome more of a familiar one, a blowout win for Glen Estee. But it wasn't a total celebration, kind of a bittersweet ending for fans of both schools and teams seeing this 53-year rivalry come to an end. <laughs> Friday night football, oh, how we've missed you. And while we've been waiting months for this moment, this first game of the season is the end of an era in West Claremont County. The final time, Glenn Estee and Amelia take the gridiron as rivals. It's the history, man. 19, it was 1963 is when it started, so, I mean, Glenn Estee's up all time. It's something that's bragging right. Next year, there is no game. The year after that, they merge. In two years, no more Trojans, no more Barons. Together, they'll be the Wolves, and they'll share the coveted bell. I played in the band, and after the football game, the truck that drug the bell uh, went down all the roads, you know, from Glen Estee to Amelia because the game was here and rung the bell. I'm sure nobody slept very much in West Claremont that night. <laughs> and in two seasons, when the two schools are united, many of these players will be teammates. Something former Glen Estee lineman Mike Geis says will be good for all the students and the athletes. They're going to push each other. Like, yeah, I've started all these years at Glen Estee, and now i got to try out again. Yeah. Let's push each other. It's going to become a powerhouse kind of team. Um, and it's something that's pretty exciting to, yeah. to kind of see. The school's going to be great. At Glen Estee, Brad Underwood, Local 12 News. And by the way, uh, like it's been since 1998, Glen Estee won the game. Going away. Brad Steinke will have the highlights later in the Friday night final.